Hello there, here's my friend Lug, and he is an all-round handyman that I made. Um, here we go, we're going to have him ch chop down this tree here. Now I just have to select wood, and I need to know the direction it is. So let me just say, stay here for a minute. Um, and the direction from the minimap is north. It's going to pick the block in front of where I'm standing. So I select north and say start working here. Okay, and there he goes. He will chop down that and then give me the wood blocks right there. Okay, so now let's, uh, you can have him follow you and we'll try a little bit more complicated tree. This Acadia tree here is a little bit more complicated shape. Um, and also, it's a different type of, uh, of wood. It's not the standard wood. It's the new woods that came out. And they're called a different name. They're called Log 2. Um, and also, right now, Custom NPCs, does the scripting doesn't recognize the metadata. So ba it's going to give you just either oak wood or Acadia wood, no matter what you cut down. If you cut down like a, a birch tree, it's going to still give you oak wood. Um, hopefully that will be changed in the new updates, but uh, for now those are the only two woods it's really going to give you. Like these dark oak woods are going to, when I cut them down, they're going to be like uh, Acadia wood, because that's that's what it defaults to. Is the uh, this the first in the series? Um, these uh, these dark oak woods now are very uh, they're well not not only they're big but they're also connected to one another. So there's there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of cutting here. Um, they sometimes grow together. Uh, I don't think I'm going far enough away. He's not following me. There he goes. Okay, got to wake him up there a little bit. Okay, now then. If I pick the wrong direction, he's he's going to tell me that he doesn't find anything there. So let's find pick the off to the side here and see. He says he doesn't see anything. Uh, that was off to the uh, the west there. Now then, if I pick the right direction south, he will start chopping away. And he's going to be chopping for a while. There's a lot of, uh, like I said, there's a lot of blocks all connected there. I'm going to go back and pick up the seed, the uh, saplings there, and uh, I think he's almost done. And there you go. See, he gave me a stack of 64, and there's still some left. He will default to a uh, to uh, 64 blocks is what he will default to cutting down. And that's for he won't, you know, you can't start him on something and he just chops down uh, your whole world. Basically, <laughs> is what he could do. Um, you can change that in the, uh, in the uh, dialogue there. And I'll show you that a little bit later here. Um, right now, let's skip on to some stone. Um, and also, all stone looks the same to him. Um, even the new types of stone, like granite and stuff like that, they're gonna they're gonna look the same. And then here, let me show you the different options. Um, you can have a half a stack up to five stacks. Um, is uh, how much material he can collect at one time. So that way, he won't. Uh, mine out this entire <laughs> mountain, which uh, he potentially he could if he didn't have some sort of limits set on him. So, um, yeah, I think he took some of that other type of stone because it's also called stone. It's it's not, uh, the, the metadata is not uh, recognized, it's just like the wood. So, and that's, t that's kind of like how he, he carves it out in kind of a uh, a uh, 
dome shape um, cavern, I guess you would say, or something like that. He, he carves it out kind of like in a, in a circular or a, uh, yeah, a spherical shape. So here uh, we have dirt, and that's different than, you can see it's different than a grass block here. And we're just going to do a half a stack here, too. So these uh, these blocks that have grass on them are grass blocks, and the ones that don't are dirt. So it's it's going to uh, it's going to kind of selectively just take the ones that are dirt, as you can see here. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Chromicide for helping me with this, kind of steering me in the right direction, and also, of course, uh, Nopus for making this great mod. Um, and also, I had some help with the um, people over at Stack Overflow for <laughs> kind of directing me in some programming questions. Um, it wasn't that difficult once I got the, uh, the right idea, but... Uh, it was a little tricky. Now here we have something that really annoys me is tall grass where creepers can always hide. So I put this special thing in here for tall grass and he basically <laughs> will clear away all this tall grass. Usually I, I like take a bucket of water and just wash it away or something like that when I'm trying to get rid of it. But um, he can clear it away for you. And the funny thing is when he's done um, I'll show you what happens. Um, he should be. He. You give this. You get this shrub, which is the default of the tall grass. So, I'm not sure. I could change that. I could have you have them give you nothing or seeds or uh, something like that. I'm not sure, but. Uh, That's uh, it. Now then, we're going to go off to uh, my sand testing area, and I'll show you how that works. Because sand has gravity, it's completely different, because if you have it fall, you're not going to be able to mine it. So there, I just have it mined all at once, and, uh, and kind of an explosion sound. Um, which is the way around um, having it uh, fall down and stuff like that. And the same could be could be work for uh, gravel. Of course, I don't have gravel in the menu. Um, he could also mine out these uh, these houses, these logs here. He would recognize those if he wanted to do something like that. Um, And uh, here I'll briefly just show you the scripts here. Uh, the the main program that that uh, runs this this function is is uh, in the initialization tab there, and then the update handles the uh, chopping and the giving of the blocks. And then the only other script is in the dialog close, and that is really the big part of it. All the different options that uh, you can pick here stuff like that. That's a real big part of it. Um, now I'll just briefly go over, I'm just going to show you the uh, coal function here. He can, he can just mine little pockets of coal. And I'll show you another sand example here also uh, with him. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Here's a, uh, just like if you're standing on a sandy area. Just, you say pick down and then start and then boom. <laughs> and it's all taken at once. That way you get it all 
otherwise you would have problems with it falling and you wouldn't necessarily you would you'd be left over with more sand than you had <laughs> than you actually got or something like that but um, thanks for watching I think this is kind of neat you could add some sort of interface in up front that you could have them uh, you could have to pay them or something like that um, thanks for watching